Many people think they know English. They cannot uh, understand simple, simple text. This is a text for middle school students, pupils of the 70s, late, late 60s. Okay, lesson 12, 12th lesson. What happened yesterday? Every morning Jack and Mary go to school together. But yesterday Jack was not well. He had a bad cold and stayed in bed. Mary had to go alone. Mary had to go out alone. She was walking on the pavement feeling very unhappy. She stopped on the way to look at the windows and was late. When she entered the classroom, the teacher was already explaining a new lesson. She was very angry. At half past four, Mary returned home. Jack was better and wanted to play. They were still playing with Jack's mother cars when their mother called Mary. Supper was ready. If you didn't understand, you haven't understood the, um, everything, it's because you're not used to real-time English, real-time real spoken English. Let's take it down a notch or two and see if I speak a little bit more slowly, if you can understand more. What happened yesterday? Every morning, Jack and Mary go to school together. But yesterday, Jack was not well. He had a bad cold and stayed in bed. Mary had to go out alone. She was walking on the pavement, feeling very unhappy. She stopped on the way to look at the windows and was late. When she entered the classroom, the teacher was already explaining a new lesson. She was very angry. At a half past four, Mary returned home. Jack was better and wanted to play. They were still playing with Jack's model cars when their mother called Mary. Supper was ready. That's a little bit more slowly. Against, against, against. Again. more slowly what happened yesterday every morning Jack and Mary go to school together but yesterday Jack was not well he had a bad cold and stayed in bed Mary had to go out alone she was walking on the pavement feeling very unhappy she stopped on the way to look at the windows and was late when she entered the classroom, the teacher was already explaining a new lesson. She was very angry. At half past four, Mary returned home. Jack was better and wanted to play. They were still playing with Jack's model cars. When their mother called Mary, supper was ready. You still don't understand? What happened yesterday? Every morning Jack and Mary go to school together. But yesterday Jack was not well. He had a bad cold and stayed in bed. Mary had to go out alone. She was walking on the pavement, feeling very unhappy. She stopped on the way to look at the windows and was late. When she entered the classroom, the teacher was already explaining a new lesson. She was very angry. At half past four, Mary returned home. Jack was better and wanted to play. They were still playing with Jack's model cars when their mother called Mary. Supper was ready. Okay, 
after so many times you should have been able to, under to understand but now let's move back little by little to the original speed and you'll see that you will be able to understand everything a little bit faster what happened yesterday every morning Jack and Mary go to school together but yesterday Jack was not well he had a bad cold and stayed in bed Mary had to go out alone she was walking on the pavement feeling very unhappy she stopped on the way to look at the windows and was late when she entered the classroom the teacher was already explaining a new lesson she was very angry at half past four Mary returned home Jack was better and wanted to play they were still playing with Jack's model cars when their mother called Mary supper was ready again even faster <clears throat> that's a good good exercise for understanding and uh, a good exercise that will make you able if you do that constantly to understand um, English at real speed every morning Jack and Mary go to school together but yesterday Jack was not well he had a bad cold and stayed in the bed Mary had to go out alone she was walking she was walking on the pavement feeling very unhappy she stopped on the way to look in the windows and was late when she entered the classroom the teacher was uh, already explaining a new lesson she was very angry at the half past four Mary returned home Jack was better and wanted to play they were still playing with Jack's model cars when their mother called Mary supper was ready now you can actually every morning Jack and Mary go to school together but yesterday Jack was not well instead of he had a bad cold and stayed in bed Mary had to go out alone. She was walking on the pavement, feeling very unhappy. She stopped on the way to look at the windows, windows and was late. When she entered the classroom, the teacher was already explaining a new lesson. She was very angry. At half past four, Mary returned home. Jack was better and wanted to play. They were still playing with Jack's, Jack's mother's cards when their mother called Mary supper was ready right, you'll notice that many many times uh, you do not actually pronounce um, the vowel like in many other languages together yesterday it was not well it was not well check was not well Okay, you had a bad cold, you had a bad cold. This sound that you hear, I'll write it for you. This is the symbol, and it's called schwa. So you can find a schwa here, here, here. here here he had to go out alone she's working on the pavement here and here here feeling very unhappy she stopped on the way to look here out the window here and was late sometimes uh, the schwa is part of the word so you always say together you never say together but some other times for model verbs like uh, 
to have, to be. So the form was, were, had, are, without schwa. When you speak fast, you had a bad cold, you say had instead of had. So it's very important in order for you to understand to recognize the schwa. Otherwise, uh, many, many times you do not understand uh, the preposition an and and you uh, even don't even um, hear it. So it's very important to get acquainted with the schwa for. This was uh, a mini a lesson, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, um, about understanding and with a little bit of explanation about the schwa sound. Um, goodbye.